guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I thought we should do something really fun and casual and so today we're gonna be making some friendship bracelets for the Eras tour I have talked about this in a couple of videos before but I'm a really big Taylor Swift fan as many of you are as well I'm sure I am a lucky Swifty that I got tickets to one of the nights of the Eras tour and so I am gonna spend some time tonight making some friendship bracelets to trade for those of you who might not know at Taylor Swift's tour this year um, a lot of the Swifties are starting up a new tradition of making friendship bracelets and trading them at um, each night of the tour so people are making bracelets with different lyrics and the names of some of the albums on them and just passing them around at the beginning and end of the show I absolutely loved this idea when I heard it because I love making bracelets especially I've always loved to make bracelets and pass them out at EDM shows which is like already a big tradition there and I think it's just so much fun that it's kind of a tradition that is like getting made into the Swiftie world also. So as you can tell I have already made a good chunk of them but I went to Michael's today and I bought some more beads because I was running out of the ones that I had before um, and I just want to spend a little bit of time tonight making some just as a really fun and cozy thing to do. I've also spent the past few days being really sick and I'm finally feeling better today and I just wanted to do something that was like fun and relaxing because I have just been really run down the past few days and tired just like sleeping all days trying to get better but yeah I kind of want to show you some of the ones that I've already made first I feel like that would be really fun and then we can get started making some new ones so I've made a good chunk of these so far I know a lot of people probably imagine friendship bracelets to look more like this like the actual tied ones and I have made one like this but these take so long and I wanted to make a lot so that I can pass them out to as many people as possible. So I don't think that I'm going to make any more like this because they just take so long to make. But this one I made, it's also like one of the ugliest friendship bracelets I ever met. It says lover on it. And then I made a big chunk of stretchy ones like this. So I said to myself I wanted to make ones that were like more niche song lyrics and song titles because I felt like if I just did the names of the albums like I feel like everyone's gonna do those so I wanted to make some that were more unique so I made this one for debut and it says Mary's song on it so cute this is like my favorite one that I've made so far I think and then I made one for fearless I had to do this one says it's a love story on it I had to do that that's like my favorite song from fearless so even though it's basic I wanted to do that I did one for speak now so far this one says never turn back which is a lyric from Mine, which is my favorite song from Speak Now. I only have done one from Red so far. Um, this one says Mosaic Broken Hearts. So cute. And I added these little heart beads on it. So cute. Um, I've made two for 1989 so far. This one says Out of the Woods. And this one says, I love this one too. This one says I'm about to play my ace which is a lyric from New Romantics. I haven't made any for Reputation yet because I didn't have any black or like gray beads, um, but I've made two for Lover. This one says Cruel Summer, and then this one says, I love this one too. I feel like this is so good for the tour. It says, This City Screams Your Name from Cornelia Street. And then I made this one, which is for Midnight's, but also for the last album. It just says Karma, and it's orange because orange is my favorite color. Last year, I made a bunch of these um, rings. I was selling them at an art market that I did, but I made a couple that were Taylor Swift themed. No one bought them because it wasn't like marketed that they were Taylor Swift themed, but I think I might pass these out too because they're cute. This one just says lover, and then I have this one that says ivy, and then I have one that says red. I might make a couple more of these. These also take a really long time to make, so I'm not sure how many more of these I'm going to make, but I just thought that they were fun, so I might pass those out also. I also thought I would show what kinds of beads I have just for fun. So I have a bunch of these. These are like the rubbery, thin beads. I have these in like 10 different colors that I've been mixing and matching. I have a bunch of these just like plain white letter beads. Um, I wish I had some that had numbers on them, but I you have to like buy them in a separate pack to get ones that have numbers and I didn't really want to buy a whole pack of those so I just didn't. I have these cute little star beads. I had a whole nother package of these and I used all of them so I wanted to you get more because they're so cute so I bought those. I bought these. These ones are new to me. They're like little wooden flowers. They're so cute and they come in like all the good colors so I got those. And then I just have some random like assorted color shiny beads like these ones are like more muted and these ones are really sparkly so 
so yeah, I'm just going to hang out and make some bracelets, and we'll, we can do some chitty chat about Taylor and about the tour and stuff like that. I just like, I love watching videos like this of other Swifties just like talking about Taylor. It's just like fun to like chat about it and you know, this is just like my little cozy bed area, so I thought it'd be fun. It's like a little Swifty sleepover or something. I am going to figure out what I want my first bracelet to say. I think I want to do one that is fearless because I just bought a bunch of new beads that I feel like would be good for that. I also really want to do one for another debut one. I think for debut, I wanted to do our song or Stay Beautiful because those two and um, Mary's song are my favorite songs from um, debut, so I think I'll do one of those. I do Stay Beautiful. I feel like I would just do the title because that is like a cute bracelet saying. But if I did our song, I feel like I could pick something else, like... Oh, okay, wait, maybe let me look up the lyrics, and then I'll... Oh, maybe I could do Play It Again, because that's, like, a subtle our song, like, lyric thing, and I feel like that's, like, really cute. Yeah, just, like, Play It Again. So, while I get all my little beads out to do that one, let's do a little chitty chat. So, the first night of the Eras Tour, my, um, what it was in Glendale, or Swift City, sorry, my roommate and I and one of my high school friends we were all hanging out that night and we watched the entire thing on TikTok live we like had set up a bunch of phones like their two phones so that we could watch it from two different angles um on TikTok live and it's like keeping track of the set list on my phone so that we could like reference it later and talk about it and at one point in the night, we actually went live on my TikTok. Just, we just set my phone up so you could watch us reacting to watching the tour. And I, we were only streaming for maybe like 30 minutes from my phone. And we ended up having 15,000 people watch my live of us. It was, you couldn't even see like this, the screen of what we were watching. It was just us sitting on the couch, like screaming for like 30 minutes. It was so fun. And it was so cool. I'm so glad that like people were streaming it and like everyone was talk chatting like the whole time. It was so fun. I don't know. It's just like I love tour season for that exact reason. It's just like everyone's so excited and like energy is at an all time high. I was a little jarred at the set list. It was crazy. I'm sure everyone else was as well. I was really glad to see Evermore have its moment because um, if you don't know, Evermore is one of my favorite albums by Taylor, so I was really glad to have her, like, give it some justice. I genuinely, though, I could not believe how there was only one song from Speak Now on the set list, and the fact that there was no debut songs on the set list. It was almost criminal. I guess what I was trying to say is that, like, I understand that she really wanted to put a focus on the set list of the albums that she's never played before so like lover folklore and more midnights and i definitely agree with that like it was definitely good um to have that focus on there because then you know it's like people have heard all these other songs before and they just like wanted to relive them if you know what i mean it felt like so imbalanced to me at moments like okay i need to like not complain because we are obviously so grateful for anything that miss swift like graciously gives us you know like this whole tour is crazy i think that if i had to change like one thing about it i think that i would cut like two maybe three of the folklore songs and add in at least one debut song and then like a couple other Speak Now songs. Like, I really wanted mine to be on the set list, and I genuinely, like, I thought it was going to be. Like, I didn't even think that that was, like, a questionable thing. But yeah, I love the picks from Folklore Evermore, Lover. I do kind of wish she was playing Death by a Thousand Cuts, Cornelia Street in the main lineup, but honestly, other than that, like, I was so pleased with all of the picks. My number one, like, surprise song that she played that I couldn't believe was in the main lineup actually there's two midnight rain literally jaw on the floor i could not believe it it was so crazy marjorie it was crazy when she started playing that i wish i had the video of us live reacting to that on my tiktok because when marjorie started i literal my jaw was on the floor i could not believe it i can't believe it and I, it's like it's such great justice for such an amazing and beautiful song like you can tell how much 
it means to her. Okay, I'm really running out of A's. That's the thing with all these like little packs of beads with letters in them. It's like you never get enough of the letters that you need. I do want to talk about the costumes because dear lord, they're so amazing. If you don't follow on Instagram, I'm sure that you do if you're watching this video. If you don't follow Taylor Swift styled on Instagram, she's like the, the OG Taylor Swift fashion blog where she basically just reports every single thing that Taylor Swift wears and like provides links to them and the prices and she gives her own thoughtful commentary. But yeah, she did talk about the Eras Tour costumes and everything and all of the, the designers and stuff. Most of it is custom. I don't know, it's just so impressive. All of her costuming, that's always something that I look forward to for big tours for like the pop queens like this, you know? It's like their costumes are like on another level. I love Taylor because her costumes always have such beautiful storytelling with them and I knew that for this tour it was going to be next level because all of her eras have such specific and distinct fashion that goes along with them. That's always like been one of my favorite things about her is that when she starts a new era she really like goes for it and she changes her hair, she starts a new fashion line, not line, fashion trends for, for the era. like. She just, she just goes all in and she really dedicates herself to branding and I love that about Taylor. And so I just, I knew going into the tour that the fashion was going to be like one of the coolest parts of it. And I was correct. I was absolutely correct. When she came out in that Versace bodysuit and the freaking bedazzled knee-high Louboutins, I was like, yes, Miss Girl, yeah, yeah. That was exactly what we needed, and you gave everything that we needed and absolutely nothing less. Controversially, I think that my favorite piece that she's worn so far on the tour has been the Evermore dress. Um, I don't know if this is one of the ones that she's changed night to night. I don't think it has been. I think she's worn the same one every night so far. By the way, the date that I'm filming this is April 13th. So it's the night of the first Tampa show tonight, so if any of the things that I'm saying have changed, in the time it takes me to edit and upload this video. Well, they changed. So I love that Evermore dress. It's the orange, like, it's kind of like a corset top, orange dress, like, long gown with beautiful, like, floral embroidery on it. Oh my god. I mean, I'm an orange girly. Orange is my favorite color. But when she came out in that, I was like, mm, yeah, I will be having that. That, especially during the Willow section when she was wearing, like, the, the big cape the witch cape over it, I was like, e yes, you are speaking to my soul right now. It's so good. I love that. I love the Versace bodysuit, the Lover Era outfit, and I freaking love the the Midnight's section when she's wearing like the big sequiny t-shirt dress. It's like just like a big boxy t-shirt dress, but it's covered in sequins. I love that look too, especially when she wears like the lavender haze like big furry coat over it. And I love the Karma big fringe jacket. They were selling one like that from Nasty Gal a couple months ago. I don't know if they might still have it and I thought about buying it literally like, months ago just to wear to like a party or something. And I didn't buy it and now I'm sure that it's sold out now because Taylor Swift wore one that's like exactly like it. but. That's what you get for not jumping on the thing when you see it for the first time. Okay, but this one is looking so cute so far. I'm so happy that like this is happening and people are doing this, but like some of the bracelets I made, I love them so much that like I don't want to give them away. Like they're so cute. I'm gonna have to like take a picture of all the ones before I go to the show. I'm using this like stretch magic cord because it's like super cheap and you can get it wherever. It's not like the best cord to use for stuff like this because if you are planning on keeping like these bracelets for a long time, this kind of like plasticky cord does like dry out basically and it gets really um, brittle and it can break really easily. A lot of people say that you should use like the stringy, it's still stretchy but it's like made out of more 
fabric-y fibers. I am so inarticulate right now. But anyway, I got cut off at the end there because my camera turned off. But what I was saying is just that no matter what kind of cord you use to make your bracelets, even if you use the stretchy kind, like the plasticky kind or like the fabric kind, you can go over the knots that you tie with clear nail polish. So just, I tie like a bunch of knots on top of each other and then you can like paint over that knot with a, some clear nail polish, like a thin coat, and that's supposed to help them like not break. I'm so excited! I'm gonna like do a zoom in and show you all the ones that I finished at the end. Yeah, okay, let's make another one. I think that I will do maybe another Fearless one because I got some better beads for Fearless. Okay, what's another one of my favorite songs from Fearless? My, I think, well other than Love Story, which is absolutely my favorite song from Fearless, probably Tell Me Why. That song goes so hard. And The Way I Loved You, absolute bangers. Since I started posting about Taylor Swift on Instagram a couple years ago, I didn't used to like post about her on my Instagram, but I, when I started doing like more dedicated fan art for her music, I just like started, you know, coincidentally just like posting stuff about her on my story and stuff like that. But when I started doing that, I like the number one thing that people like send me messages about and like just ask me about on Instagram is like, can I rank the albums or like what's my favorite? Taylor Swift album and I talked about this on a TikTok live recently I just I mean like I have ranked I do know what my own rankings of the albums are but I am just like I am too afraid of the greater Swifty community to ever reveal them publicly I think like my own rankings because these girlies are ruthless out here and I am afraid for my safety <laughs> And, like, I do think that my ratings are a little bit controversial. I don't know. I'm just, like, afraid to say it. But what I have said before online is, like, what my top three are. So I'll tell you that. But let me, like, figure out what I want to write on this one first. I do just love the word fearless. Maybe I'll do that. But also there's little vowels in that. Maybe I'll do jump and fall. That's, like, a deep cut. So I want to do more, like, deep cut things because then it's, like, the girlies that are getting these are going to, like, know. You know? Okay, yeah. But, yeah, I... The bottom... Six of my rankings are kind of unpopular, which is why I'm just afraid to put them out into the world. So maybe one day I will do that, but I just, today is not that day, I am not that girly yet, so we will not be doing that. I mean, I don't think my top three are that surprising, but my top three in order, I think, are number one, Red, number two, Evermore, number three, Midnights. I, okay, let me know in the comments if, like, before I said that, if you would have guessed that that's what my rankings would be. Because I don't know if it's surprising or not. Uh, I feel like most girls my age, Red is their favorite because it came out in the most formative time in, like, late middle school for me. I don't know, I feel like it's just obvious that most girlies my age love Red. But I just, I don't know what it is. I am an Evermore girly. I love Evermore more than Folklore. People always say that thing that like Folklore is a better album but Evermore has better like individual songs and like I don't know I kind of disagree. I just love Evermore. I love the vibe maybe it's just because I'm kind of a witchy girl but I love I love stuff like that. I feel like it's darker and moodier more emotional. I love it. I just I love it. I eat it up. Ivy is my favorite song on Evermore. One of my favorite Taylor songs of all time, Ivy Supremacy. Yeah, and then when Midnight's came out this year, I like almost knew immediately that I was going to love it because of the gorgeous 70s aesthetics that she paired with it. Even though like the sonically like the album is not very 70s inspired, I feel like it's kind of moody and like sultry in a way that most 70s aesthetics are. I love retro aesthetics as you obviously know by now it's like my favorite thing especially fashion and just like visuals wise i just love that era so i knew like as soon as she started posting promotional images for midnights that were so cool and retro inspired i just knew that it was going to be one of my favorites and then when i heard the album i was like mm, yes sister yes that is a yes for me i don't know i just midnights is so good and I, people keep telling me that I like it because of recency bias, and like that might be true, and it might maybe it'll go down in my rankings later in time. But at this moment, like Red Knights has some of the coolest, best songwriting of hers, and 
I don't know, I just love it. It's so unique. People always talk about how Red is not a sonically cohesive album, which, yeah, it's not, but that's also why I love it so much. And I think that's also why I love Midnight so much, because it's just, there's something for everyone on it. It's so versatile and different. There's something for every moment. Feels so nostalgic of many different areas of her career. And I, I was saying this recently to someone that Lavender Haze is one of the freaking coolest, vibiest songs of all time. And I just love it. I remember when we listened to Midnight's at Midnight when it came out. I listened to it with my boyfriend and my roommate. We were all just sit sitting in my room listening to it and listening when I clicked play on Lavender Haze and she said meet me at midnight I was like oh oh my god I just knew I knew right then that it was one of my new favorites I don't know what my favorite song on Midnight's is honestly it might be Lavender Haze I love Karma I love Sweet Nothing that's my boyfriend's favorite song on it so that also has to be one of my faves I love The Great War Would've Could've Should've I love Antihero. I love Midnight Rain. Honestly, Midnight Rain's probably my favorite. That whole song, that whole album. Banger after banger after banger. It's so good. I'm trying to make sure that I make bracelets that are like lots of different lengths. I've been trying to make like some shorter ones so that if there's any like young girls there, I can make sure I have some that fit them and also just larger ones that are more like size inclusive just so that I can trade with anyone. I've been thinking also, I want to do a bullet journal theme, maybe for May, because I'm seeing Taylor in May, that's based on the Eras Tour, because I am obsessed with the Eras Tour poster. Just that graphic is so freaking cool. I, I don't know, I feel like it would, it would make a really cool bullet journal theme. I have to make sure that I have the right colors to do it though, because I feel like if I don't, it won't like look right. That m is on the docket, perhaps for May. And if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it in May because I'm seeing her in May. Here's my Jump and Fall bracelet. So cute. Once again, I will show them all at the end. Okay, I decided for my next Speak Now one, I wanna do one that says Last Kiss. It's not like my favorite song on Speak Now, but when I saw the Red Tour in 2013, that was the surprise song she played at the show that I went to. And I just thought that would be like a fun thing. I'm trying to like pick songs that have like fun meanings or like, you know, they're my favorite or more niche, stuff like that. So I feel like that'd be a fun one to do. Easy letters to find also, not too long. One of my favorite things so far about the tour has been seeing everyone's outfits on social media. People have made some of the most amazing, creative, outfits I've ever seen like I mean I totally respect people that have made like recreations of her outfits and like that's what I'm doing but I really respect the people who like have thought of an original idea and like executed it I saw today on Instagram a video of a girl who made <laughs> the shirt she made like a, a t-shirt that it looked like the Starbucks lo logo but she put the words in got a lonely Starbucks lovers she had that shirt printed, and then she made this big green tulle skirt that had a bunch of Starbucks cups, like, glued into it. I was like, that is so creative. I've also seen a lot of, like, simple versions of, like, outfits for, for, for the boyfriends that are coming. Like, my boyfriend is coming, and he likes Taylor Swift, but, um, he also, he's, like, gonna dress up. Also, because I was like, you're not, like, coming to this with me and not dressing up. I have seen some really creative ones. My friend sent me this one of a girl who's bringing her boyfriend, and she made him a t-shirt that just said Karma. And it was funny because it was, like, Karma is my boyfriend. And I was like, that is so creative and simple. And, like, what a great way to get your boyfriend into it without, like, making him, like, you know, wear glitter all over his body and stuff like that, you know. I am hopefully, I'm gonna try and make a video of me making my costume for the tour. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to make that video because I am assuming that it's gonna take longer, like it's gonna come out after I go to the tour because I want to like maybe like include some clips of me at the venue and stuff in the outfit. I think I'll just say what I'm wearing. I wanted to keep it a secret, but like, I am making the outfit that Taylor wore to the Wango Tango Festival in 2019, so I am doing a Lover Era outfit. I was really going back and forth on what I wanted to do. I, I really wanted to make the, the ringleader outfit from the Red Tour, because I just am obsessed with that outfit, and it's so cool and iconic, but I just like... 
I knew that if I wanted to do that, it would like need to like really be perfect. I don't know. I just was like, I don't want to do that if it's not going to like be perfect. So I ended up not wanting to do that. But I decided to do Lover Era because she hasn't toured Lover before. I just thought it would be fun to do that. And also, since my boyfriend is coming with me, Lover is my boyfriend's favorite Taylor Swift album. He is a lover lover. And it's also the first album that came out while we were dating. And so it was like the first time that he like listened to an album drop with me. We like watched all the music videos together for the first time. So it was just like, I felt like it was fun for us to do that because he's gonna, this is his, gonna be his first time seeing Taylor also. So I am doing that Wango Tango outfit. It's like the rainbow fringe jean jacket top with like matching shorts basically. And so what I'm hopefully doing, what I've done so far is I have a pair of white shorts and I ordered a like a white uh, denim jacket from Depop and I just bought like some regular tie-dye dye that I'm hopefully going to use to dye the top and the shorts. And I think what I'm going to do for the fringe is I'm going to buy like a bed sheet, like a plain white bed sheet and cut it or dye it and then cut it into strips and sew it onto the back of the jacket. During the show, she was wearing like a white yellow um, t-shirt underneath it, but I have like a yellow halter top. That's like the perfect color. So I think I'm just gonna wear that underneath it. And then I am not sure exactly if this is what my boyfriend is gonna do. I was planning on making him that jacket that Taylor wore during the Lover photo shoot. That's like a jean jacket that has fringe on it and it has like white stars on it. I'll put a picture on the screen if you don't know what I'm talking about. I thought that it would be fun for my boyfriend to wear that because then we could wear like subtly matching. We're both from the same era. We're both wearing fringe. I thought it's like a cute kind of subtle thing but also cute and he might wear like a lover t-shirt or something underneath it with like heart sunglasses or you know something like that. I also considered doing um the like lavender haze music video outfit when she's wearing that like lace like night dress with the big fringe purple coat on top love that look and it's so cool i've seen a lot of people do that look also for the tour and it looks so cool every time because i actually already own a like i guess it's like a lingerie dress not really it's like a nightgown dress um that looks very similar to the one that she has in the video mine is like yellow with like green flowers on it with lace I thrifted it a long time ago actually and so I would just have to get that purple coat but the show that I'm going to is like in May so I was like it's definitely gonna be way too hot to wear that. But yeah here's my little last kiss bracelet so cute got some purple flowers on it for a speak now. I know I want to make another red one and the lyric that I have in my head to, for this one is like long. I already did another a couple that are like have really long lyrics on them like this one Mosaic Broken Hearts is long. The City Screams Your Name is long and I'm about to play my ace. I, one of my favorite songs from Red is the song Red and I am obsessed with this like one part of it. I bet you'll know what I'm talking about. At the very end after the last chorus there's this part where she says, I think she says, And that's why he's spinning round in my head, comes back to me, burning red. And it, her voice is like kind of in the background when she says that. And every time it comes on, I'm like, yes! I think if I did, either just comes back to me, or it comes back to me burning red. Is that too long? I feel like it's too long. And also, like, will people even know what part of the song I'm talking about? Okay, let me just like get the letters out and like see if it would work. I feel like that's too niche. These girlies, they need to be so niche, okay? They need to know. And if no one knows what it is, then I'll just keep it. I'll just wear it. I decided that I'm actually gonna do one that says just burning red. I, when I spelled it all out before, it was like definitely way too long. So <laughs> we're just gonna do it says burning red, which is still very fun. Something else that I've been loving chatting about with my other like Swifty friends and stuff has been like the prospect of there being special guests on the tour. As of today, she's only had one and it was Marcus Mumford, which was so cool. Um, definitely would have loved to have been there for that. Their cover of, well, I guess it wasn't a cover. Their like version of Cowboy Like Me was so cool. I keep thinking about like who I would love for them to be there with her. Obviously, Selena Gomez, I feel like is at the top of everyone's list because besties for life. I would also love if Haim was there because they are just so iconic together and I know that she would never have him but if she ever had Elenium <laughs> there and they did the Elenium version 
of Antihero. That was the first remix probably that she has ever put out that I was like, oh my god, this is good. I love Elenium anyway, but when that came out I was like, alright, something is happening here. Yeah, yeah. I would love if Keith Urban was there and if they sang That's When because I love that song. I would also love it if Chris Stapleton was there. They did I Bet You Think About Me. I don't know, like there's so many good options. I don't know, and I keep thinking also about what surprise songs that I want to hear. My number one right now is Treacherous. I just love that song. I mean like, I guess it would be cool if she sang something that I'd never seen her sing before because I have seen her do Treacherous before on the Red Tour. Like if she did that or Begin Again, which are my favorite songs from Red, or the song Red. Oh, if she did Ivy. I would love some more deep cuts from debut, like Stay Beautiful, our song. But really right now, I, I want to hear Treacherous begin again. Maybe like acoustic out of the woods. <laughs> Literally, it's like 10.30 right now, the first night of the Tampa show. I love that literally five minutes ago, I turned off my camera to finish filming this video. And as I pick up my phone, my roommate texts me and she's watching the live stream of the show tonight. And Taylor played Treacherous tonight. <laughs> I am unwell. I will not be replying to texts or comments or messages for the next week. I am in the trenches. I do not know if I will be recovering from this drama right now. All right, good night. Ooh, this one is really cute. Yeah, let me know in the comments like what song you were surprised was on the real set list or um, what song you like wish was on the set list or what song you're hoping for to be your surprise song if you're going to the tour. Oh no! Oh my god, I just dropped this and like all the beats came off. Okay. Also, doing this on your bed is like not a good idea. Every time I do this, I like wake up and there's like a million beads in my sheets. I'm gonna make a couple more bracelets off camera um, and then I'm gonna come back and show you all the ones that I made. Okay, so I made a couple more bracelets tonight. I made almost one for every era. I didn't make one for Reputation because I don't really have any like good color beads for Reputation, but I made one for every other era other than that. So I'll show you the ones that I made. All right, so first up, here's the one that I made for debut that says, play it again. So cute. I actually put the Y upside down on this one, but you know, whatever. Super cute, green and like teal beads. And then here is the Fearless one I made that says, jump and fall. These cute little wooden flower beads. Here's the Speak Now one that I made that says Last Kiss. Here's the one for red that says Burning Red. I really like this one that I made for 1989. It says In Screaming Color, the lyric from Out of the Woods. And I feel like these color beads like really match the sweatshirt that she wears on the cover of 1989. And then, like I said, I skipped Reputation, but I made this one for Lover. It says Daylight. I feel like it's cute with little flowers. And then I made these two for Folklore and Evermore, and they look really cute together. This one says August. And I did these, like, green and blue and white beads. And then I made this one for Evermore. It says Willow. And I love the colors. I feel like it's, it was supposed to match the coat she wears on the cover of the album. So cute with the wooden beads also. And then lastly, I made this one that says Midnight Rain for Midnights. And yeah, those are the bracelets that I made today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and just chatting about Taylor Swift and the tour. Um, definitely comment to let me know anything about the tour that you're excited about, um, what you're going to wear, what songs you're excited for, stuff like that. And yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. Bye-bye. I still need to recover from another love